Hi everyone, thank you for watching my latest video. Um, thank you also for liking some of my others and I really hope that this content helps some of you or hopefully a lot of you to really understand how things are done and help you with your own development, with your own spiritual journey. Um, yesterday during a call, um, I was speaking to a lovely lady and she said she wanted to learn the tarot herself and she was really struggling. So we actually talked about um, the difference between different decks. And it turned out she was using a pip deck, but she's in very much an intuitive reader. So somehow the deck didn't click with her and she just felt that it was like something she was doing wrong, for example. There are different ways of decks, uh, different ways of reading the cards and different decks. Someone like myself, I know the meaning of the different cards, but I prefer to read them intuitively. I don't like to be told what a certain card means. Terror is a tool. It helps us to understand what is important and what we need to know and what we need to pass on to someone else. It's not supposed to be that set in stone that this card means this and there's no changes in it. It's about really starting to realize that it's about flexibility. It's about you being in a good place when you read and actually feeling comfortable reading. Someone who's um, who's very much like likes to know certain things and like studies everything completely, they might find a pip card works much better for them because it's less interpretation. It's much more okay. This card means this, so therefore that's the outcome. And if that's who you are, then that's perfect. Don't change from that. Keep that energy going. But if you're someone who finds it very hard to memorize all these cards, to memorize what it means, like if they're in certain positions, whatever, then a pip card, a pip deck is not good for you. Basically, um, just a little history, such um, tarot cards used to be playing cards. People would use normal playing cards for that, which is a pip deck. It basically means the only the main cards like the page, the king, the queen, all these ones, they have proper symbolisms on it, like proper pictures on it. Everything else is just plain, just like this one, for example. And um, then the major cards were added. But the traditional way would have been using playing cards. And this is very much connected to that. However, if you compare those two, for example, both are the same cards. But here, if you're an intuitive reader, you get a picture, you get a story, you can see like, okay, this tells me something that this kind of like makes me feel a certain way. So I can understand these cards more. I can read them easier without having to learn everything. I personally, when I'm getting a deck of tarot cards, I chuck the booklet away, but I just don't even take it out of the box. I just take the cards and let the cards talk to me. I would, and I always have done, I was suggested to everyone else, if you are an intuitive reader, do not look at the book. You do not need to be told by someone else what a card means. For example, look at this card here. What, what does it make you feel? What do you feel when you look at it? Does it make you feel a certain way? Do you feel like, okay, so this could mean that there's a loss, that you might have a financial loss, but then look at how close they are. Does it mean that it's not all bad? Does it mean that, yes, you might lose something, but you might gain something else a lot stronger? Unfortunately, with the pip card, you do not get that same, that same feeling. Not like, again, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with them, but the comparison to me, I would always recommend a fully illustrated deck. So let's show you some other examples. Same card again. This one, you're getting a feeling. She's thinking about something. She's kind of like looking back at something. She's looking at what she might have had or what might be or anything like that. Depending on when this card comes up, this could be her thinking about the future, about thinking about the past. Could be that she likes 
this boy and she's wondering how her future could be. These cards, you don't see any of that. You just see the symbolism. Again, I'm not saying these cards are not good. I do use pip decks myself at times because sometimes they just have a good place. If I want something, if I just want a really direct yes or no, I sometimes use a pip deck because it just a lot of the time a lot clearer, a lot more straightforward. So they do have their uses. But it's just about finding what works for you. Let's pick another one. The tower card. A lot of people dread that card. I personally don't feel it's the worst card in the deck. But again here, now on a pip deck, because the um, major cards are all more illustrated, you actually get more of an um, feeling of what it means. This feels like something is changing, something is um, yeah, something is happening. The same as this one, coming off the track, things changing. Again, if you had to pick one, I personally would always go for the fully illustrated one, especially this deck. I love that one. It's the Roman, um, the Buckland Romany deck. Unfortunately, it's pretty much impossible to find these days. But if you ever find a copy anywhere, grab it. It's one of the best tarot decks out there. And I got, I don't know, couple of hundred maybe and this is still my go-to deck and this one is the inked tarot deck I believe yeah I believe that is what it's called I don't have the box here right now but again it's a beautiful deck I'm not dissing this I'm not making this video to diss this deck it's an amazing deck and it's really beautifully done but I'm just using it to illustrate this one will always tell me something. This one tells me a story. This one gives me certain feelings. This one, the major cards still do. That's why I picked a major card as the next one. So, let's see the next one. So, again, this I've used, uh, picked this card. I chose a few cards. I picked this one because it was very um, fitting. In the Romany deck, it's very clear what this means. Someone is being attacked, some there's kind of something not feeling right, someone's being stabbed, so like stabbed in the heart, stabbed in the back, these kind of things. This card will tell me some injustice has been done. Unfortunately, I'm not getting that same. I know that kind of means the same, but I have to remember it. Of course, I've done this for 20 plus years, so I remember those things. But if you're a beginner, I would always stay clear from pip decks. That just be. Again, the cold cards, as I mentioned before, in a paper text, still got symbolisms on it, still got pictures on it. But look here, this one is pretty much telling me something's feeling a bit stressful. You have a lot of stress around you, you kind of like really master of your craft, but it hurts you. It kind of like makes you feel drained, makes you feel a bit more uneasy. I'm not getting that here. You know what I'm. I hope you see where I'm coming from. It's just finding your path. And one last one. Nope, that was it. I haven't sought any others out. But I mean, even here, even though they're not the same, but again, you're seeing that there's a difference here. You see, it's like this is telling me a story, this isn't. But that is basically what I try to say. So if you're a beginner and you're really looking for a new deck for something that you want to learn with, go for a fully illustrated deck. Go for one that actually talks to you. Go for one that makes you feel excited looking at the images. The Buckland Romany deck, the minute I saw it, I was in love with it. I, I've had it pretty much on my desk ever since, and it's not going anywhere. The ink deck, I absolutely love the imagery. I mean, some of you might have realized I'd like, quite liked it too, so it was quite a fitting deck. But it doesn't talk to me the same way as this one does. So if you're a beginner and you're wondering what kind of deck should you go for, make sure you see images of the different cards. Make sure that the different cards, the minor cards, talk to you, that they show you something that, I mean, for example, here you can like see, oh, I haven't spotted the light here, for example. So that makes him think of something. Fully illustrated decks, don't just look again at the meaning of the card look at what you see in the picture go deeper into it really find what it uh, what it tells you what it, how it talks to you and you will just find 
once you're really connecting with your deck, you will just go from strength to strength with it. It will be your new go-to deck. So if you're struggling with reading the cards and you find that it's not working for you, you got the wrong deck, quite likely. So always find a deck that talks to you. I've got some amazing decks that are so beautifully done. And you know what? I'm not getting anything from them. And then I'm getting, I've got some decks that that are not really that brilliantly done. They look quite rough and they're not really, they don't really look very beautiful, but they're kind of like, are so powerful in the messages they convey that I love them. So it's not always about getting the most beautiful deck. It's about getting the deck that talks to you. So hopefully that explains a little bit of why to use certain decks and the difference between a pip deck and a fully illustrated deck. Until next time.